sending y'all love and light. We're checking the love energy. Energy could be masculine or feminine. You guys place it on whatever side you need to. Okay. Ooh. You guys got Dana, High Priestess. You have divine knowledge that can help others through your spiritual teachings. Okay. So you guys uh, may have people that come to you, um, may want advice. Okay. The scenario that Spirit has given me is that whoever you are that's watching this tarot card reading, you may um, get knowledge or gain knowledge and be able to help others in their situations by the information or whatever it is that you're absorbing from these readings, okay? You may be instrumental in helping some of your friends with some of their problems. Um, and, you know, you're getting the divine wisdom because you're wise, okay? You're, you're getting or gaining the wisdom to actually help to teach others, okay, what it is that you're learning. Let's see what this is all about. Okay, I'm not going to take that. Okay. Okay. So I have Ten of Cups, okay? Your Ten of Cups situation, uh, you guys, this is something that you want with someone, all right? Pisces energy. This is emotional security, family, love, a happy marriage, a partnership. This is maybe what you want, okay? I have a Knight of Pentacles person here. Leo, Virgo energy. This person may be hard worker. They're patient. They're loyal. They're responsible. Um, they want to protect you. They may be a little bit stubborn, okay? But um, they want to make some of your dreams come true. Yes, they're night, okay? They may keep their feelings hidden um, for a while, but this, uh, this is a person that is basically good marriage material, even though they move slowly, okay? So you guys have a chance at having um, a happy family situation, uh, or emotional security of family, um, some love with this person, okay? I have seven of pentacles here. This is Taurus energy. Um, these are things coming to fruition, right? Things happening, you know, you persevering and making things work. You may have had a crossroads. You may have had to make some choices, but this is you finishing what it is that you started out, you know, uh, with or thinking or something of that nature. You actually completed that process. Some of you, you have a job, you've just been working, you've just been uh, working on whatever it is that is yours, making sure that you're okay, making sure that you're prosperous, you know, um, just taking care of the things that you need to take care of. For some of you, you've got the Three of Cups energy, you may, you may want to go out with your friends or you may be starting to go out more with your friends, okay? Um, this could be some sort of celebration or reunion or some sort of marriage or graduation, baby shower, stuff of that nature. Some of you, while you're out with your friends, this is where you're going to meet this person. Okay? This is where you're going to meet this person. Some of your friends may introduce you to this person. But this is going to be an emotional bond that you have with a person with cancer energy. Okay? Let's clarify guys have been manifesting this person into your life when they come in you're going to meet them while you're out okay you guys are no longer in hermit mode no longer soul searching no longer being quiet no longer wanting to be alone okay you guys have gotten your your divine uh, downloads you went through your spiritual awakening and now you're ready to move forward okay this is what i'm seeing Magician is Virgo, Gemini, Aries energy, and you have the Hermit in reverse, which is also Virgo energy, okay? We got the Ten of Pentacles. We got the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles out here, guys, right? You want to look up angel number 1010, please, and get your message, all right? This is going to bring a happy situation. You guys are going to be financially stable, happy home, happy kids, 
you know, loving environment here. Okay, seven pentacles. What is this? Yep, that's Virgo energy. Yep, this is um, the end of a cycle, okay, for you with the world card, right? You guys have worked and kept going and put the work into yourself and you've gotten to the end of a cycle. <clears throat> this is completion. The uh, fulfillment from the universe is coming towards you. You're at where you need to be in your life or you will be soon, right? This is you having to shift your perception and remember that you uh, are, are a person that is an energy in a body form. Okay, you need to remember that so that you're replenishing yourself and you're doing what you need to do. You don't need to be fear anymore. You don't need to fear anything anymore. Okay, excuse me. Um, you need to make sure that you are staying in alignment with the universe. Okay. Whatever relationship you have manifested will work. Right? This is marriage. This is kids. This is happiness. Okay, it may, be, may not be happening right now, but you guys are really close to this from what I see. Okay? For some of you, if you're in a relationship already, you're going to be doing what you need to do to make it work. Okay? Just know that you'll be able to, to reach your goals. Okay? Um, Knight of Pentacles. Right? Yep. Knight of Pentacles is clarifying the Knight of Pentacles. Y'all, I'm telling you, I can't make this shit up. The universe said, why are you clarifying me <laughs> this person that is good marriage material okay right you may not know uh where they're coming from with this moon card you may not know much about it okay there's gonna be some secrets some mystery um to this person like i said you're gonna meet them so you may have a lot of mystery going on i don't feel like this moon card is bad i feel like it's um you not knowing when when they're gonna come towards you um, you um, having the uncertainty of everything that you need to know, okay? You're not going to know everything. The universe is going to give you that when it's time. But with this moon card, this is Pisces energy, okay? Just know that um, you just need to change your perception, okay? Listen to your intuition and trust your instincts when it comes to some of the things that you're going to be going through, okay? Okay? Ten of Cups. Yeah, Page of Swords. Okay, so this is the start. Okay, um, you may meet this person in the autumn or in the fall. Okay, um, you you may like how this person thinks. Okay, or you may have a hard time thinking around this person. Um, meaning they make you tongue-tied. They make you say things you don't mean to say. This person may get on your nerves in the beginning for some of you, okay? Um, but know that this will pass, okay? It may be just how you guys feel each other out. I'm feeling like it's like slapstick or very sarcastic energy until you really get to know someone, okay? Also, some of you may know someone like this around you already, and this person may be sending you a message, okay? So, um, I'm sending you guys love. I'm sending you light. Um, you guys take care.